Good afternoon and welcome to Willsville Stadium for the Stones Bitter Championship game between Warrington and Swinton. The teams this afternoon, Warrington line up at 1, Brian Johnson, 2, Des Drummond, at 3, Joe Rapati, 4, Ronnie Dway, 5, Mark Forster, 6, John Woods, at 7, Martin Crompton, 8, Les Boyd, 9, Kevin Tamati, 10, Tony Humphreys, 11, Bob Jackson, 12, Gary Sanderson, and 13, Mike Gregory. Substitutes for Warrington, 14, Rocky Turner, 15, Mark Knight. Swinton, 1, Mark Velia, 2, Dave Maloney, 3, Danny Wilson, 4, Steve Snape, at 5, Tex Evans, 6, Frank Cassidy, 7, Andy Rippon, 8, Joe Grimer, 9, Alec Melling, 10, Robbie Muller, at 11, Frank Mooney, 12, Mark Shields, and 13, is Paddy Timavavi, substitutes for Swinton, 14, Tony Hewitt, 15, Alan Derbyshire. The free this afternoon is John Holsworth from Leeds, the touch judges are Mr Mean and Mr Morris, and two captains, Warrington and Kevin Tamerton, and for Swinton, Danny Wilson, meeting today's match officials. Second meeting between the two sides this season. The other coming back at the end of September in the Lancashire Cup semi-final, when Warrington had no trouble in disposing of Swinton by 44 points to six. No doubt another scoreline like that would be the order of the day for Warrington. And it'll be Swinton who'll get the game underway. Warrington will be playing from left to right in this first half as we look in the white jerseys with the primrose and blue V. Swinton in the blue jerseys with the white V. And white shorts. Slight breeze blowing from left to right in this first half. And it'll be Frank Cassidy who'll get this game underway for Swinton. Referee checks with his two linesmen. And this Stones Bitter Championship game between Warrington and Swinton is underway. It's a deep kick. It's sealed safely by Mark Foster. Foster there moved now to his own 25. Tries to get away from Paddington Vive up. Can't stop five six yards from his own line. Kevin Tamati swings it out to Bob Jackson. Jackson tries to drive forward. He's stopped by Frank Mooney. Midway down his own 25 along with Andy Rippon. Comes on this near side to Mike Gregory. Gregory head down, drives forward. Good strong run for his final shot. Stopped by Matt Shields. Tamati this time goes on the blind side, drives himself. Clears his 25 before he stops. Sanderson this time swings it back to John Woods. Woods kicks across field. Bounces over on that far side. Maloney goes with it and finally taken by Mark Vila. Vila going over on that far side. He's stopped by Mark Foster and Ronnie Duane. Maloney goes himself from the play of the ball and moves forward. Stopped by a good tackle from Bob Jackson. Melling acting half back, swings it across this time to rip and short pass. Muller try to drive down the centre. Melling once more. Kick through from Andy Rippon. Brian Johnson's there, takes it safely. Cuts inside Greamer, beats Rippon. Finally picked off this time by Alec Melling. Drummond this time goes himself in the play of the ball, crashes forward, makes four or five yards before he's stopped by Matt Shields. Plays it to Tamati. Tamati swings it onto Crompton. Crompton slows his pass out to John Woods. Woods now straightens up, looks for a gap himself. Looks to hand off his man, but can't. Stopped in midfield by Melling and Rippon. Tamati this time onto Boyd. Boyd drives in. Good strong tackle comes in from Frank Munich. Boyd plays it to himself, moves forward again, crashes forward. Moves into the Swinton half of the field before he's stopped. That's five tackles. This is a six just inside the Swinton half. Tamati to Crompton. Crompton moves forward, delays his pass, looks to go through. And it's a nice pass to Humphreys onto Drummond. Goes, just manages to take it. And that will be six tackles and the turnover. Steve Snape plays it to Matt Shields. Shields drives forward, makes a couple of yards across field before he's stopped. Melling this time on this near side to Muller. Tony Humphreys though is quickly up. To bring down Muller. Melling swings it out right with Rippon. Cassidy. Long pass from Tim Avavi to Maloney. Maloney trying to beat Dwayne on the outside, but Dwayne brings him down, drags him into touch as well. So it's in the first scrum of the match, midway between the Swinton 25 and the halfway line. With three minutes gone in this first half.
Martin Crompton back in the first team in the absence of Keith Holden and Andy Rippon offside. John Woods then puts the ball safely into touch, sets Warrington up on the first real attack of the game. Justin Sanders, Swinton, 25, Tamty taps it, driving forward, he's Humphreys, Humphreys powering towards the Swinton line, he stopped 10 yards short. Chaz is here then for Warrington. Tamty takes it, swings out to Crompton, Crompton switches it back to Boyd, Boyd crashing for the line, turns, gets the ball back to Tamty. Tamty tries to drive forward, he stopped 5 yards short. Sanderson this time to Crompton, juggles with it, Woods misses out Gregory, looks for a gap himself, trying to go down the centre. Finally stopped this time by Timavari, goes out to Crompton, tries to drop goal and it goes through, first points of the afternoon to Warrington. The drop goal from Martin Crompton. Makes it Warrington 1, Swinton 0. Drop goal to Martin Crompton. Frank Cassidy then. Restarts for Swinton, finds one deep, a testing one for Johnson, but he takes it well. Brian Johnson immediately feeds it onto Mark Foster. Foster then going down that far side, crashes in. Just manages to stay in the field of play, close to that far touch line. Johnson, short one. Sanderson clears it, 25 with a good run. Tamity once more, swings it out to Tony Humphreys. Humphreys and a trip there by Mark Shields. Shields appeals to the referee, but a penalty immediately given by John Holdsworth. It will spill further second week in succession. Referee last has his cup tie against Oldham. And that's a good kick from John Woods. Kevin Tamate onto Boyd. Boyd drives forward, crashes in, still going. Looks at a player on his left. He finds it from Tamate. Tamate crashing down that far touch line. Manages to throw the ball back. It's taken by Foster. In fact, Foster just managed to leave it for Sanderson. Good play there from Warrington. Puts them up on the attack again. Inside the Swinton 25 on the blind side goes Tamate. Immediately pass to Mike Gregory. Gregory trying to crash through. Bit of a skirmish between Foster and Shields there as Crompton swings a floaty pass out to Joe Woods. Woods, not a good pass. It's picked up by Rapati. Rapati crashing forward now. Crashes through. It takes two Swinton plays to stop in the shape of Timavari and Cassidy. This time it's Woods. Swings it back to Dwayne. Dwayne still going. Finally stopped by Cassidy and Shields. A couple of tackles left for Warrington. Midway side of the 25. And Frank Cassidy penalised for pinching the ball well after the tackle was made. And this should be an easy two points for John Woods. Right in front of the posts. Um, John Woods fires it safely through. So Woods has another goal to the tally, leaves the goal-kicking charts now, takes his tally to 71. And makes the score, Warrington 3, Swinton 0, with six minutes gone in this first half. Frank Cassidy restarts, well taken by Gary Sanderson, moves out to his 25, drives in, clears his line as well, takes play to be midway between the Warrington 25 and the halfway line, goes on to Tony Humphreys, Humphreys hands off one man, hands off two men, Humphreys powering forward, good strong run there from Humphreys, knocked off two men, Forwards finally stopped by Joe Grimo, Paddy to Mavavi, switches it to John Woods, Woods little sidestep, tries to throw the ball back, it goes loose, the ball still loose, Swinton makes a good opportunity there, Warrington regain possession, in fact Swinton do come up with the ball, but Alec Melling goes out to Robbie Muller. Muller runs in hard but stops as he meets Bob Jackson and Gary Sanderson. Swinton looking for their first points of the game now with Melling. Swings it out to Cassidy. Cassidy to Mavavi. To Mavavi trying to go through. Andy Rippon this time on this near side to Joe Grima. Grima trying to drive through. Nice little pass to Steve Snape. Snape out to Evans. Evans 
He's caught though by Repartee and Drummond on the Warrington 25. Andy Rippon this time, swings it out to Shields. Shields out to Cassidy. Danny Wilson, good pass, well taken by Frank Mooney. Frank Mooney looks to support, gets the ball back to Andy Rippon. Rippon intercepted by Martin Crompton. He's got nobody in front of him. Can he go the length of the field? He beats one man. Still Crompton beats another one. Great play there from Martin Crompton. Splotted the interception well. Just didn't have the pace to go the length of the field. Finally stopped by Timavali. This time it's Gregory. Swings it out this time to Boyd. Boyd hands it on to Dwayne. Dwayne now swings it back inside to Foster. Foster moves forward. Gets it on to Johnson. Johnson lots of support. Vast slowing play here from Warrington now. Takes them within midway. He's the Swinton 25. Tamati, Tamati, look to go through himself, knocks off one man. Tamati still going, he's crashing through, still Tamati, he's five yards short. Push, look back there, an important tackle from Joe Grimo. Mike Gregory to John Woods, Woods short to Humphreys, Humphreys powers forward again, Humphreys beats one man, throws the ball back and it goes into the hands of Steve Snape. And Steve Snape there, great flea, gets to that ball for Swinton. As Warrington were looking dangerous, close to the Swinton line. Alec Melling sensibly brings the ball away for Swinton. Ripping this time to Joe Grima. Grima crashing forward. He's stopped by Tony Humphries and Martin Crompton. Melling this time. Out to Andy Rippon. Rippon kicks across field. Straight into the hands of Matt Foster. This one will go. Hits his chest. Takes it safely. Foster then. He's got Brian Johnson linking up. Matt Foster cuts inside one man. Gets the ball away to Ronnie Dwayne. Dwayne powering down the centre now. Still Dwayne beats one man. Beats another and he's tripped. Was he? Dwayne's up again. He's going for the line. Has it on two. Oh, Bob Jackson, he had an open trial and the ball's still loose. Dwayne is power for the line. It is over, is he? The, the referee gives six more tackles. Roy Dwayne stopped right on the Swinton line. Swinton not cleaning the danger. There's the ball went loose. Six more tackles. The ball's kicked away. Kevin Tamsey should retrieve it. He manages to take it. Throws the pass out. Matt Foster will pick this one up. And then knocks on and Warrington. Lose 30 yards there. When there was stopped right on the Swinton line and a chance goes begging. With 10 minutes gone of this first half, still Warrington leading by three points to nil. Andy Rippon comes round to feed the scrum for Swinton. Kevin Tamity having trouble getting to the scrum. Finally, both front rows meet. The ball comes out to Martin Crompton. Crompton just couldn't get away from Ripper, but Warrington then with five tackles just outside the 25. John Woods to Ronnie Dwayne. Running around with Woods, brings in Rapati. Rapati licking up John Woods, but he dropped it. It's picked up by Andy Rippon. Warrington certainly playing the better rugby at the moment. As Mark Shields links it away for Swinton. Alec Melling swings it to Roby Muller. Muller, though, hits with a hard tackle from Gary Sanderson. Melling swings it out this time to Cassidy. One of the kingpins in the Swinton side. Cassidy, good play here, but well covered by Ronnie Dwayne. Frank Cassidy was the star of the Swinton team in the Lancashire Cup, and it's set now a chance here. Snape, Snape is a dummy, cuts inside, beats one tackle, still stays Snape. Good run there from the Swinton centre. Snape sets Swinton up on the attacking side, the Warrington 25. Melling wait for his acting half back, swings it onto Andy Rippon to Danny Wilson. Wilson gets a dummy, straightens up still. Wilson swings it back to Rippon. Rippon looks for a gap, gets the pass away to Roby Muller. Swinton now, it's there just to swing the ball about as Muller stopped midway inside the Warrington 25. Melling to Joel Greamer, he's trying to drive for the line. Good tackle from Bob Jackson. A couple of tackles left here for Swinton. Melling to Wilson. Wilson gets a dummy, lovely little dummy from Wilson, looks for a gap, swings it back to Tim Avavi. Kicks it over the top. Should be too far. It bounces awkwardly. It just bounces over the line. And Warrington have a tap from their own 25-yard line. Mike Gregory looking to get on with things here for Warrington. Gregory taps it. Swings it out to Gary Sanderson. Mike Gregory to Martin Crompton. Crompton got space to move. Jinx one way, Jinx another. Nice little slip pass to Gary Sanderson. John Woods out to Bob Jackson. Jackson now powers forward. Stop just short of the halfway line. He's up again. Referee tells him to play it. 
Les Boyd this time. Nicole side step, finds a gap down the centre, swings a nice pass to Crompton, it goes to ground. It's picked up by Andy Rippon. And then he's stopped by Kevin Tamati in a penalty to Swinton. Les Boyd having something to say to John Holdsworth, which John Holdsworth didn't agree with, and the ball's put in the, the penalty's not taken from the correct position, and Swinton lose six tackles there. Referee gives a scrum down, five yards inside the Swinton half. Still leave plenty there from Swinton. With 13 minutes gone, Crompton has it. Rippon looks a mile offside, and the referee rides on the spot to spot Andy Rippon offside. Gives Whiting a penalty. John was sent to put the touch on this near side. Right footed, ball sails high on this near side. John Woods takes it, Tamati, Crompton, run around with Woods, swings it back to Jackson, flies through the gap, Jackson onto Sanderson, Sanderson, he's got Johnson in support, Johnson going to the line, try saving tackle, comes in from Steve Snake, five yards, shot on the Swinton line, John Woods takes it, swings it onto Tamati, Tamati laid pass, gives a little turn, he's going for the line himself, He stopped a yard short, desperate tackling now, coming in from Swinton, Jackson swings out to Woods, Crompton, little side step, jinx inside again, still Martin Crompton, Caught it by his opposite number, Andy Rippon, as he tried to get to the Swinton line. Sanderson out to John Woods, Woods to Boyd. Boyd, nice pass to Rapati, Rapati on to Dwayne, Dwayne. Back to Foster, Foster's going for he must score. Matt Foster will come round, put it down near the posts. First try, nicely work move from Warrington, swings it out to the left. Matt Foster finishes it off after a good pass from Ronnie Dwayne. First try to Matt Foster. Goes over for his third try of the season. After the ball is quickly moved out across the line from Warrington. Swinton lacking in defence over on that far side. Foster had an easy job. So, John Woods. But this time puts it wide. So the score remains at Warrington 7, Swinton 0. With 15 minutes gone in this first half. And already Warrington warming up a substitution with Rocky Turner. No doubt it must be an injury to somebody on the Warrington side. The ball fired straight down the centre into the hands of Brian Johnson. Johnson immediately feeds it onto Mike Gregory. Gregory running hard and strong, looks for a gap, crashes forward, beats two men. Mike Gregory crashing forward, beats another, looks at the ball, finds it for Boyd. What the referee brings play back for a forward pass. Correct decision there from John Holdsworth. Right on the spot, but crashing run there from Mike Gregory. Just powered through two tackles, beat another. He's passed though, just to judge forward to Les Boyd. Substitution, it's Brian Johnson who will leave the field. Obviously, there must be a slight injury to Brian Johnson. And Rocky Turner comes on. And he goes immediately into the fullback position. So, Rocky Turner, who took the man of the match award on Friday evening in the Lancashire Shield final when Warrington defeated Swinton. And a very exciting final, and Swinton in possession. Rippon knocks on. Referee once again right on the spot. And the Ripper at the moment not having successful time at scrum half. As Martin Crompton puts the ball in and he's penalised for feeding. Gives Swinton a penalty. Swinton then looking for their first points. To try and bring themselves back into this game. Matt Velio puts one high into touch. Swinton then chances for tw six tackles just inside the 25. Andy Rippon, Cassidy, short one to Muller. Muller crashes forward, three Warrington players there to meet him. Melling out to Rippon, short one to Cassidy. Cassidy switches it back left, swings a nice floaty pass onto Mark Shields. Shields now cuts back inside, goes across field, caught by Sanderson, throws it back to Wilson. Little dummy from Danny Wilson, still goes across field, back to Shields. Shields now. And it's intercepted by Rapati. He manages to keep hold of it. Rapati now cuts inside again. Swinton, that's a few sloppy passes. This sent out, which Warrington have intercepted. 
That should be a penalty. It was kicked away by the Swinton player, but the referee weighs play on. Swinton back in possession. Linesman didn't bother to do anything on this near side. Frank Cassidy looking for a gap down the centre and fires it. Frank Cassidy now moves forward, sends a nice pass out. Goes behind Paddy Timavai, picked up by Mike Gregory. Gregory powering, can he go all the way? Still Mike Gregory looks at the port, finds it. But his pass just goes in front of Mark Foster. And goes into touch, but Mike Gregory is certainly having a storm in his opening 15 minutes. Just ripping holes in this Swinton defence with some storming runs. We're just coming up to halfway through this first half. Just a little over 20 minutes to go in this first half. Warrington lead by seven points to nil. And penalty given this time to Swinton. Martin Crompton offside at the scrum. Feeler then left footed, finds it into Swinton directors in the main stand. Alec Melling then short to Muller. He hits Les Boyd head on. Rippon to Greemer. Greemer backling forward, makes it to the halfway line, does Joe Greemer. Melling this time to Rippon, short one to Timavavi. Timavavi moves forward. John Woods comes back with Joe Rapati and brings down Tim Harvey. Member of the Auckland team that played here early on the season against Warrington. That's a good kick there, right in the corner from Frank Cassidy. So an important scrum just five yards from the Warrington line. Injury there to Les Boyd. Holding his shoulder this time. And his arm got it heavily strapped. And Les Boyd will leave the field with a, another hand injury. And on comes Mark Knight. So Warrington using both substitutes in the first 20 minutes of the game. This boy goes off, holding his ha hand. Broke it earlier on at Halifax. And it doesn't look a good sight there as he goes down the tunnel into the dressing room. So, Crockton puts the ball in, the scrum's wheel and turn, it comes out to Tim Avavi. Gave a dummy and run into Mike Gregory. Gregory brings him down, 10 yards short of the Warrington line. Chances here for Swinton with Andy Rippon. Goes himself in to play the ball, crashes in, stopped by Des Drummond and Kevin Tamati. To Mavavi, out to Melling. Melling, little dummy, runs straight into Mark Knight. Ripping once more. Lots of players. Sloppy play for Swinton at the moment. Melling, out to Cassidy. Cassidy to Danny Wilson. Wilson swings it out to Snape. Slip past to Shields. Shields, he gets his pass away. Chances here now for Maloney. Maloney, though, caught. He's up again. Better play for Swinton. Sixth tackle. Cassidy kicks across field, hits Crompton, dives on it. But the referee gives a knock on. And that will be a scrum down midway inside the Wellington 25. Rippon puts the ball in, out to Crompton. Crompton beats Rippon, still Martin Crompton. Caught by Steve Snape. Sanderson to Mark Knight. Knight moves forward, makes it to the shot of the 25 before he's stopped. Drummond this time on the blind side, crashes through, makes a couple of extra yards before he's stopped. Goes out to Mike Gregory. Sanderson to Kevin Tamati. Tamati, short one to Rapati, flies through the gap. Rapati now, he's only got the full back in front of him. Still, Joe Rapati lost the support. Rapati still crashing through. Finally stopped by Mark Vila and Dave Maloney over on that far side. 
That's five tackles. This is a six just outside the 20 and 25. Woods puts up a kick. Danny Wilson and Mark Foster's there. Wilson runs back and good play here from Danny Wilson. Martin Crops is covering. Risky pass to Tex Evans. Evans now moves forward for Swinton. Comes on this near side. Tries to beat Drummond on the outside, but Drummond brings him down with a good tackle. This time it's Steve Snape. Good tackle from Gary Sanderson. Goes out this time to Danny Wilson. Wilson delayed pass to Robbie Muller. Muller turns in the tackle, smothered by Martin Crompton, who brings him down. Melling this time, out to Cassidy. Cassidy switches it to Grima. Grima sort pass to Rippon. Rippon, but he's caught immediately by Gary Sanderson. Melling once more, swings it back to Cassidy. Little tiny step, kicks downfield. It looks a good kick. The bounce favours Warrington this time. Rocky Turner takes it safely. Looking to beat Grima. Rocky Turner stopped by Grima and Tim Avavi. Kevin Tamati, short to Drummond. Drummond crashes in. Hit Steve Snape there with a strong tackle. Snape back to his feet, a little smile on his face. Swings out to John Woods now. John Woods to Joe Raparty. Raparty out to Dwayne. Dwayne now moves forward. Looking to beat Danny Wilson. Brings him side to Foster. Foster. Trying to get in there, referee right on the spot. It's taking this time by Rapazzi to Mike Gregory. Gregory, he's stopped this time by Frank Mooney. Goes out with John Woods. Woods onto Crompton. Short pass to Mark Knight. Knight trying to crash down the centre. That's five tackles. This is a six. Sanderson to Crompton. Crompton, a good chip over the top. It's a chase of the ball. Ripping Crompton. Vila. Nandy Ripping gets there first ahead of Martin Crompton to dive on it midway inside his own 25. Taken by Mark Vila, beats one man. Vila going across field, stopped by Mark Knight. Tackle finished off by Gary Sanderson. Cassidy, lots of players, has to swing it back this time to Mooney. But Mooney's going nowhere. Pushed back by Bob Jackson and Tony Humphreys. And Humphreys in there again with Jackson. 15 minutes left in this first half as Andy Rippon plays it back to Danny Wilson. A good side step from Wilson. Goes across field, throws a forward pass out. Swinton there really being pressured in front of their own line. Danny Wilson's pass well forward to Mark Shields. Results in a scrum down. Midway inside the Swinton 25. Crompton puts the ball in. Takes it nicely, Crompton. Caught then by Tim Avavi. Mike Gregory swings it onto John Woods, running around with Gregory. Gregory trying to go through himself, caught by his opposite number, Tim Avavi. And the penalty there. Joe Greamer right in front of the referee, hitting Mike Gregory. Stern talking to for Joe Greamer from John Holsworth. For a punch thrown in and tackle. And gives Joan Woods. Joan Woods then. And this time strikes it safely through. Makes the score Warrington 9, Swinton 0. Cassidy then restarts for Swinton, high deep kick. Mark Foster takes it well. Mark Foster then coming out of his own 25. Stopped by Joe Grima. Tamati swings it on to Bob Jackson. Jackson, risky pass, but it's well taken by Humphreys. Tamati this time gives the dummy to Mark Knight, moves in himself. Sanderson this time to Martin Crompton. Crompton jinks about, gives the dummy, feeds Jackson. Jackson goes through the gap. Just pulled back this time by Alec Melling. Martin Crompton 
a cool grubber kick through into the hands of Dave Maloney. Maloney hit immediately by Mark Knight and Tony Humphreys. Danny Wilson swings it on to Frank Mooney. Mooney, though, can find no way through. Cassidy swings it out to Tumavavi. Risky pass again. Snape takes it well. Shields to Rippon. A good chip over the top. John Woods is there. Dives on it well. And then Timavavi comes in to finish off the tackle on John Woods. Mike Gregory swings it on to Drummond. Drummond crashes through. Back in second, he does and half he goes. Tamati goes himself on the play of the ball, moves across field, drives in now. Takes four Swinton plays to finally bring him down. Gary Sanderson out to John Woods. Woods, a long faulty pass to Mark Knight. Knight now trying to crash through, but it was a good tackle by Frank Mooney. Blind side to Gregory. The good chip over the top is falling himself. Mike Gregory moving through, but Cassidy goes back for Swinton. Then he's caught on his own 25-yard line. Ten minutes left in this first half. Warrington 9-0 in front and willing command in this game. Swinton not really trouble Warrington at any stage so far in this first half. Goes back this time. Last slip pass to Rippon onto Shields. Shields ducks out under two tackles. John Woods finally comes back to bring him down low with Mark Knight. Alec Melling, short to Danny Wilson, swings it onto Roby Muller. Muller held up in the tackle, finally brought down. Couple of tackles left here for Swinton, midway inside their own half of the field. Goes back to Danny Wilson. Wilson, a good chip kick over the top. It's a good one, Wilson. A clash of bodies deflects into the hands of a Swinton player. Six more tackles. Danny Wilson stayed down. Looks in some agony as well. There's Creamer swings it out this time to Tim Avavi. Tim Avavi drops the ball, swings it back, it's in the air. Cassidy knocks it back, it's bouncing about. Picked up by Snape, gives the dummy. Goes back right, Snape now moves into space. Finally stopped by Mark Knight. Kevin Tamachi and John Woods also in the tackle. Goes out this time with Rippon. Rippon looks for a gap himself. The gap though immediately closed by Gary Sanderson, along with Mike Gregory. Melling once more to Joe Greamer. Greamer finds a gap down the centre. Joe Rapati though hangs on strongly along with Mike Gregory and John Woods. Danny Wilson is back to his feet now for Swinton, although limping away as Cassidy has it now. Deflects off the hands of Rapati into the hands of Evans, but Kevin Tamati's there. Six more tackles again for Swinton. Muller, Snape, cross to Cassidy to Muni. Goes out right this time with Paddy to Mavavi. To Mavavi, one handed pass back to Mark Vilok. Vilok trying to hand off the men. Martin Crompton there with Bob Jackson to bring him down. Goes out this time with Joe Greenock. The ball back to Andy Rippon. Rippon now. Good tackle from John Woods. Couple of tackles left here for Swinton to Mavavi on this near side to Ruby Muller. Muller running hard and strong. Kevin Tamtin with a good tackle along with Joe Rapati. That's five tackles. This is a six. It's Rippon onto Cassidy. Cassidy puts up a high kick. Rocky Turner's underneath it. Let's it bounce dead and Warrington have a tap from their own 25 yard line. Sanderson. Taps it, swings it onto Joan Woods, out to Bob Jackson, Jackson to Ronnie Dwayne, Dwayne now powers down that far side, still Ronnie Dwayne. And the ball loosed and Swinton back in possession. Chances here now for Maloney, he's got a clear run, still Maloney, he's got a good tackle from Martin Crompton there. Fine tackle from Martin Crompton as Maloney was going down that far touchline, Crompton came back well. There's Maloney, perhaps he'd have got past Crompton, he could well have been in the corner, but Crompton brought him down with a good tackle. Results in a scrum down, midway inside the Warrington 25. With around about seven minutes left in this first half. Crompton puts the ball in, the scrum collapses, but Crompton has it, but the penalty given to Swinton. Martin Crompton not retiring 
base of the scrum, says John Holsworth. So Swinton have a chance here, they'll have six tackles inside the Warrington 25 to try and put some points on the board. Danny Wilson will put the ball into touch, so Swinton then just 10 yards short of the Warrington line with six tackles. Mellon will take the second part of the penalty. Taps it onto Joel Greemer. Greemer crashes forward, but push back. First real pressure the Warrington defence have been under so far in the game. It's swinging back now to Mooney. Mooney stops seven, eight yards short of the Warrington line. Mellon to Cassidy. Tim Avavi. Tim Avavi running hard and strong. Good run from Tim Avavi. He stopped a couple of yards short and the referee spots the knock on. And that will be a scum down just two yards from the Warrington line. So they in these scums not correctly formed at the moment. Martin Crompton puts the ball in, but the referee spots a loose arm. And that will be a penalty to Warrington. And John Woods will be able to clear the danger. With five minutes remaining in this first half, Warrington 9, Swinton 0. And John Woods puts the ball safely into touch. Bob Jackson. Jackson crashing through, takes four Swinton plays to finally stop him. Kevin Tamati to Tony Humphreys. Humphreys though drops the ball, recovers it. But that will be a knock on and a scrum down. Once again, these scrums, almost battling in for supremacy. The ball goes in from Rippon. Rippon dives on it ahead of Crompton. Swinton back in possession, midway inside the Warrington half. Mark Vila takes it from the play of the ball. Vila finds a gap, he's still going. Good run here from the Swinton fullback. Vila is still trying to get going. Takes play, back inside the Warrington 25. Alec Melling swings it on to Cassidy. Cassidy out to Muller. Robbie Muller now drives forward. Stopped by... Kevin Tamati and Bob Jackson. This time it's with Tim Avavi. Tim Avavi tries to go through himself. He's stopped by Mark Knight. Wilson this time swings it onto Grima. Grima back past the Shields. Shields onto Tim Avavi. Cross it goes to Mooney. Swinton though going nowhere. Lacking ideas. And that's five tackles. This is the six. It goes back to Danny Wilson. And Wilson knocks on, kicks it on. Straight into the hands of a party, juggles it, but regains possession for Warrington. Tamati swings it back to Drummond. Drummond crashing through the centre. Drummond's away now. He can't go all the way. Still Drummond is crashing through. He's still going. Final from Dres Drummond stopped on the Swinton 25. He just burst through the Swinton defence. And then Dave Maloney penalised for not allowing Des Drummond to play the ball. And gives Warrington a penalty, 25 yards out after a flashing run from Des Drummond. And Woods puts the ball into touch. Warrington then, 10 yards from the Swinton line. With three and a half minutes left in this first half. Can they put another score on the board just before half-time? Mike Gregory to Humphreys. Humphreys powers in. He's still going. He's stopped 10 yards short of the Swinton line. Mike Gregory swings it onto Crompton. Woods, Dwayne. Dwayne trying to cut inside, he's stopped by Snape, the ball yanked from his hands and Tim Avavi has it for Swinton. Andy Rippon swings it onto Muller. Melling this time, short one out to Mark Vila. Vila looking good, making good ground every time he gets the ball at the moment. As Melling this time takes it to the acting half at position, swings it onto Cassidy, short one to Frank Mooney. Rooney clears his 25 before he's stopped by Humphreys and Gregory. Joe Green up. Nice pass to Andy Rippon. Rippon now down the centre. Cover tackle comes in from John Woods. Six tackle then for Swinton. Danny Wilson takes it. Nickel Dunphy. Wilson kicks downfield. That's a good one. 
running towards the corner, but luckily for Warrington, it runs dead, and Warrington have a tap from their own 25-yard line. With two minutes left in this first half plus injury. Bob Jackson receiving treatment at the moment in the middle of the Warrington half. As Kevin Tamanty moves forward, makes four or five yards before he's stopped. Mike Gregory short one to Sanderson. Sanderson then moves forward. Stopped by Mellingham Rippon. Short one to Mike Gregory. Gregory swings it back to Tamati. Tamati looks to get away from Greenman. Does on to Martin Crompton. Crompton now feeds John Woods. Woods gets out of one tackle. Woods now powering forward. He's got Mark Knight with him. He takes it well. Can Mark Knight get all the way? It was a high tackle from Paddy Timavavi. Right round the head. Mark Knight, Gregory after that tackle, but Warrington now, Mark Gregory, Dwayne, he's still managing to keep hold of it, crashes in, he's going for the corner, will he make it? And he does! A fine drive from Ray Dwayne there, there was three players on him, but he still manages to crash through, just going in the corner. With, in the final minute of this first half, Ray Dwayne just crashed through three full Swinton players. And goes in the corner for a fine try. So 13-0, final try from Ronnie Dwayne. So John Woods, difficult conversion attempt, he swings it round but just hooks it. So it's Warrington, 13 points, Swinton nil. Now an injury time in this first half. So Cassidy to restart for Swinton. Once again, finds it straight down the centre. Safely taken by Rocky Turner. Rocky Turner there and running hard. Runs in. Still going. Gets this ball away to Tarantin. The ball goes loose. Picked up by Frank Cassidy. Cassidy swings it out to Muller. Muller slip pass to Danny Wilson. Swings it onto Maloney. Maloney moves back in field. Still Dave Maloney crashing through. Now in injury time, Plank up to play in a minute here. Swinton looking for their first points. Wilson swings in a long wild pass out, taken by Andy Rippon. Rippon straightens up, caught by Mike Gregory. And there goes the half time hooter. Warrington going at the interval, leading by 13 points and nil. Two tries to Mark Foster and Reid Wayne. Two goals from John Woods, plus a drop goal from Martin Crompton. Half time then here at Will Spill. Warrington 13 points, Swinton nil. So the team's back on for this second half. Warrington having already used their two substitutes. No, don't notice any substitutes on the Swinton side. So Warrington leading 13-0. Really holding the upper hand in that first half. And it's John Woods who gets the game restarted. Knocks it deep to Mark Vila, traps it with his legs and takes it safely. Mark Vila then moves forward and straight into Mark Knight and Gary Sanderson. Mellin plays it short, two shields. Mellin once more out to Joe Greamer. But Warrington moving in quickly, pushing Joe Greamer back. To a couple of yards shots of his own line. Swinton being put under immediate pressure at the start of this second half. Roby Muller running hard to try and clear his lines. Once again, though, he's trying to be pushed back. Manages to be held up in the tackle. 
Risky pass to Cassidy. Cassidy does well, though. Gets his pass away to Snape, as Snape's caught up on that far side. That's five tackles for Swinton. This is a six. Cassidy takes it and kicks downfield. Rocky turn up, takes it safely. So then runs straight at Danny Wilson. Drummond takes it from the play of the ball. Up again, makes a couple of yards before he stops. And look a bit of a skirmish there as Dennis Drummond was the victim of a punch on the floor. Danny Wilson, the offender. I think he's been seen been in nearly every game he's played this season for Swinton. When you read reports, Danny Wilson Simbind. He was in fact Simbind in the Swinton Warrington Lancha Cup so he found early on this season. And John Woods will go for goal. Woods then, and strikes it safely through. Warrington increase the lead by a further two points. It's Warrington 15, Swinton nil. Cassidy then restarts, Kevin Town with it. And referee gives a knock on. Mark Villa then for Swinton. Rippon goes himself in the play of the ball and makes a couple of extra yards before he starts being pushed back. Mellin swings it out to Mooney, but Mooney hit with a good tackle from Tony Humphries and Bob Jackson. Mellin out to Cassidy. And an obstruction straight in front of the referee. Gives Wines in the penalty. John Woods then right footed over the head of Steve Snape and safely to touch. Samity then driving forward now. Bob Jackson runs in hard and strong. Stop the shot of the Swinton 25. Samity once more swings it out to Humphreys. Samity, Crompton, back to Mike Gregory on the burst in hand strong. Good tackle this time from Ruby Muller. Tamati to John Woods. Woods looks like himself goes through it. John Woods at the port. It's not down. It's picked up by Drummond. He kicks it on. He was up such as he went for it. It's Timmy Varvey. Throws it out to Tex Evans. Evans, though, hasn't got the speed to get away from Mark Knight. Ruby Muller runs hard. Swinton at the moment having trouble breaking this point in defence. Goes to Cassidy. Nice little side step from Cassidy. Cassidy still going. Swings a nice pass out to Snape. Snape now moving forward. Swings it out to Evans. Evans now kicks ahead. And was caught. Who's going through by Rocky Turner. And that will be a penalty to Swinton. Tex Evans has stayed down. Well, this will give Swinton a chance to at least put some points on the board.
And Andy Rippon puts the ball into touch. So, six tackles inside the 25. It's on to Joe Grima. Grima throws the ball back to Mooney. Goes out with Cassidy, Snape, Cassidy drops it, the ball loose, Cassidy recovers it, gets away from a couple of tackles, Frank Cassidy now moving through, Rocky Turner, an important tackle from Rocky Turner there, hits him hard, forcing Cassidy to drop the ball, important tackle there from Rocky Turner, Warrington then to play the ball away with Bob Jackson, Lysical dummy finds the gap, swings a risky pass, it's picked up well though by Ronnie Dwayne, Dwayne finally brought down by Dave Maloney, Gary Sanderson goes on this blind side, runs in hard, throws it out to Foster. Foster now on this near touch line. But a good tackle from Maloney to push him into touch. Roy Dwayne holding his hand at the moment. And the ball comes straight out. Once again, the scrum's collapsing on this near side and loose arm gives Swinton the penalty. Mark Villa then fungies the ball to touch. Once again, Swinton on the attack. Still to cross the Warrington line. They've had plenty of spells in the Warrington 25. Here's Roby Muller running hard. Good tackle from Kevin Tamati and Bob Jackson, but now just... 11, 12 yards from the Warrington line. Rippon, short one to Mooney. Mellin, out to Cassidy. Floated pass to Timavari, slip pass to Shields. Shields, nicely picked off by Joe Rapati. Blind side to Mavavi. Rapati's there again. Slip pass to Shields, a risky pass. It's out to Cassidy. Cassidy now onto Snape. Snape goes through the centre, beats one man. Steve Snape trying to go through, gets it onto Rippon. Rippon, no good cover. Second comes across from Rocky Turner. Vlock to Wilson. Joe Greenock. Greenock fires one into Mullock. That's five tackles. This is the sixth. Ten yards from the Warrington line. Mellin out to Wilson. Cassidy and straight to the hands of Mark Foster. Foster's got to go the length of the field, I'm sure. Is away. No, he's got to stop Mark Foster. An interception try, the length of the field. Under the post, he'll go for Mark Foster's second try after a loose pass from Frank Cassidy. Second try of the afternoon for Mark Foster. Latching onto a pass there from Cassidy that went astray. Swinton have already sent two, three passes out that have been intercepted and this time they was made to pay for it by Mark Foster. And Swinton about to make a double substitution with Danny Wilson and Andy Rippon about to come off and Tony Hewitt and Alan Derbyshire to come on. There's, meanwhile, John Woods puts over the extra two points. And that double substitution will now be made by Swinton. Danny Wilson will lead the field along with Andy Rippon. And on the field comes number 14, Tony Hewitt, and number 15, Alan Darius. Throwing caution to the wind now, looking for something special. And ton Frankie Barrow and Peter Smethurst. St as Tony looks to have got one over on his brother's Warrington lead now by 21 points to nil. Gary Sanderson takes it safely. Kevin Tamati short to Mark Knight. Knight crashes out of his own 25 before he's stopped by Matt Shields. Tamati this time to Mike Gregory. Gregory running hard and strong again. First tackle of the afternoon for Alan Derbyshire. Tamati goes himself in to play the ball. Nearly intersection this time by Tim Avavi. The ball bounces loose, picked up again by Tim Avavi. That would be a knock on and a scrum down.
Don't want to see any of these scums. That's lagging to Mr. Holdsworth. The ball goes in. Martin Crompton penalised for feeding. So gives Swinson once again a chance to put the Warrington line under pressure. Warrington defence have held firm so far. Mark Vila then. And that's a better kick from Vila. Mellin, Hewitt, cross it goes to Darvish, to Muller, Muller runs hard and strong, stop midway inside the Warrington 25. Mellin, Hewitt switches it to Derbyshire, Derbyshire swings it back to Greenock, Greenock looks to get the ball away, once again risky pass, it's well taken though by Shields. Mellin, cross it goes to Greenock, Greenock straightens up, Mike Gregory is there with a good tackle. Goes out with Hewitt, Derbyshire, Derbyshire straightens up, look to swing it back to Cassidy, but the ball's well smothered by Tony Humphreys and Matt Knight. Goes across this time, slip pass from Vila on to Mooney. And that's five tackles already for Swinton, not really threatening the Warrington line as yet. To Mavave, to Cassidy, Cassidy puts a kick up. Testing one for Rocky Turner, he's dropped it, straight into the hands of Snape. Gets the ball away, but it's intercepted by Rapati. Rapati gets away to Drummond. Drummond crashing through. He's up again. Drummond still going, trying to get the ball away. And does to Crompton. Crompton goes round the blind side now. Crompton is trying to go all the way, trying to beat Vila for space. But Vila comes back. Well, a good tackle to bring now, Martin Crompton. After Warrington has weathered the star again. And once again, just powered out of their own 25. With Rapati, Drummond and Crompton taking play straight back to the Swinton 25. And that is a scrum down. Tony Hewitt gone straight to the scrum half position. And it goes. Swinton in possession with Hewitt. Hung on to by Crompton. Goes out to Cassidy. Cassidy looks for the gap and finds it. Once again, though, the pass is dropped. The referee says it goes backwards, but it's dropped again. And Gary Sanderson has it. Sets Warrington up on the attack. Mark Knight waits for it. Swings it on to Tamati. Tamati, li little dummy. Tamati still trying to crash his way through. And a penalty given to Swinton. And 10 minutes into the sim bin for Kevin Tamati. So Kevin Tamati will have a rest in the semi for 10 minutes. It's the ball finds such a V-lock. So can Swinton score with against 12 men? Well, they've got 10 minutes to do it as Joe Green has held up in the tackle. Mellin swings it out this time. Hewitt, obstruction. This time it's onto Mooney. Mellin this time, out it goes to Derbyshire, slip pass, well taken, cross it goes to Vila, Vila stopped by Bob Jackson and Matt Knight. Quarter of an hour gone in this second half, 25 minutes to go, Warrington in command at 21-0. Out it goes to Tim Avari, looks for a gap, spends a nice pass out this time to Snape, Snape onto Evans, Evans crashing down that far side but he's took out with a good tackle by Des Drummond. Martin Crompton then puts the ball in, comes straight out. Ball goes in again, Whiteson in possession, Crompton looking to beat Hewitt, but Hewitt brings him down. Mike Gregory to Turner. Joan Woods goes to the acting half back position, Woods. Swings it out to Mike Gregory. Gregory, running hard and strong, tries to get the ball away. Joe Grima once again, and Joe Grima will go for an early bath. Already being cautioned by John Holsworth for a punch on Mike Gregory. This time it's seen, and Joe Grima 
will go for a nearly bath in the Willisburg dressing rooms with 25 minutes to go. So Joe Grima has been a little bit violent with some of his tackles and did one violent punch on Mike Gregory. Mike Gregory once again was on the receiving end of another punch from Grima. Referee though was right on the spot to see it. And Joe Grima off for an early bath. So both sides down to 12 men but Kevin Tanty will be coming back on for Warrington as John Woods puts the ball into touch over on that far side. Woods to Crompton, run around with Woods. Woods has it, evades a high tackle. John was going through again, stopped by Roby Moore. Goes out with Mike Gregory, slip pass to Mark Knight. Knight driving forward, good driving run from Mark Knight before he stopped by Hewitt. Gregory goes himself in the play of the ball. Mike Gregory flying through again, gets the ball away to Dwayne. Dwayne beats one, Mallets to the port, intercepted by Tervaris over the line. Mark Foster's going for it, Vila Millenium has kicked it. But he just missed it with Mark Foster, an important sliced clearance from Vila, and that will be a dropout from the post of Swinton. It's quickly taken by Cassidy. Taken by Drummond, Drummond crashing forward, slip pass now to Rapati. Rapati crashes back inside, still Rapati finally stopped by Frank Mooney, midway inside the Swinton 25. It's taken now by Drummond. Drummond swings a nice pass out, but it's a good tackle over on that far side from Tex Evans. Drummond swings it out to Crompton, on to Humphreys. Humphreys pounding forward, stopped seven or eight yards short of the Swinton line. Crompton that's in half back again, goes on that blind side, swings it onto Rapati. Rapati crashing to the line, swings a nice pass out, it's a try in the corner. Mark Nice, he looks who's gone in in the corner. And Mark Knight it is who takes the credit for that Warrington try. Mark Knight then. Scores his first try for Warrington. And John was kicks just plays across the face of the goal, but it's gone straight over. Fine kick from John Woods. So Andy Rippon comes back on for Mark Shields with the score now at Warrington 27, Swinton nil. Cassidy a little kick through. And Cassidy has it. Derby shot to Vila. Vila now moves forward for Swinton. Gets away for a couple of tackles, does Mark Vila. Moves into the Warrington 25 before he's stopped by Mark Knight and Mike Gregory. Sends out this time to Derby shot. Slip pass to Muller. Derby just swings it across to Cassidy. Whiskey pass to Tim Avavi and Joe Rapati quickly up. To stop Tim Avavi in his tracks. Dave Maloney goes himself. Moves forward, makes it to the Warrington 25 before he's stopped. That's five tackles. This is a sixth. Goes out with Hewitt across to Derbyshire. Derbyshire kicks it through. Chase for the ball. Rocky Turner dives on it bravely for Warrington and gets up again and runs strong. Good play there from Rocky Turner. Diving bravely at the feet of Alan Derbyshire. John Woods plays it to Mike Gregory. Gregory now moving forward, breaks three tackles. Gregory now flying again. Still Mike Gregory. He can he go all the way. Swings out to Dwayne. Dwayne will pound to the line. What a break from Mike Gregory. And Roy Dwayne will finish it off with Gwyn under the post for his second try. After a brilliant break from Mike Gregory. Warrington begin to rip Swinton apart now. Swinton now look like scoring all the way through the game. And Warrington have just ripped them to parts from any space on the field. Mike Gregory there just Sprinting through three would be Swinton tacklers. Inch perfect pass to Ray Dwayne, who had the pace to beat the trailing Swinton defenders to go for his second try. And Warrington's fifth. 
And John Woods already five goals. Comes up, strikes through his six, which will keep him probably at the top of the top ten goal kicking charts. Six goals so far for John Woods. With still 20 minutes to go in the game. Warrington now leading by 33 points to nil. And Kevin Tamati coming out of the Simbin. We'll look at the scoreboard and see side 33 nil up as Drummond takes that one. Trashes through, runs in hard at Tech Sevens. So Warrington will in command now. 33 points to nil. There's Martin Crompton. Short one to Mark Knight. Good tackle though comes in from Derby shot. Sanderson this time to Crompton. Chips it over the top of Chase for it. Crompton, Derbyshire there. And it's Cassidy who dives on it bravely for Swinton. Mark Vila. Beats one man. Mark Vila still going. Good run here from Vila. Has been really the start of the show for Swinton. Mark Vila. Tried hard. As Cassidy has it to Roby Muller. Switched it back to Derbyshire. Good tackle from Rocky Turner. Cassidy, Hewitt, run around with Cassidy, releasing the gap for Mooney. But the gap was closed by Crompton and Humphreys. That's five tackles and a penalty given against Tony Humphreys. Who limps away from that tackle. Should give Swinton another six tackles here. To Mavari then. Puts the ball into touch. So Swinton another six tackles midway inside the Warrington 25. Mellin to Muller. Muller driving in hard. Stopped 10 yards short by Mark Knight and Bob Jackson. And Tony Humphreys, in fact, it was. It goes left this time with Hewitt. Cassidy, nice pass to Mooney. Chances here. But the ball once again goes to ground. The vital moment and Rapati comes away with it. And once again, Swinton missed chance after chance as Mike Gregory takes it away now for Warrington. Drummond swings it on to Rocky Turner. The ball kicked back, a chase for it. John was going back under pressure from Tex Evans and John was drops it. And then the Swinton player drops it and Warrington back in possession. So Swinton another six tackles then. Ten yards from the Warrington line. Goes across with Roby Muller onto Cassidy. Cassidy looks for the gap. Swings it back to Hewitt. Hewitt. And he's dropped the ball and Warrington on it again with Mark Knight. Bob Jackson then bringing the ball away for Warrington. Stopped by Paddy Timavavi. Dwayne. Short one to Humphreys. Humphreys powering forward. Fifteen minutes to go then. As Sanderson takes it to Rocky Turner. Took it well. Hands it on to Mike Gregory. Slip past the red party. Crashing through. Just couldn't get it the ball away to Drummond. He may have had a free run over on that far side. This time it's Talenty back on after he's spanned the Simbin. Martin Crompton. Puts up a high kick downfield. But the ball goes straight out on the sixth tackle. So Swinton back in possession again. Swinton certainly had the fair share of possession in the match. Yet to recall any points as yet. As Hewitt plays it to Frank Mooney. Hewitt. Derby shot, looking to go down the centre. Bob Jackson there though, along with Kevin Tamati. Alec Mellin to Mark Vila, gives a dummy. Gets the ball back to Hewitt. Hewitt, jinx about, runs into Mark Knight. Still gets the ball back to Derbyshire. Derbyshire now moves forward. Mellin, going himself, looks for a gap. Still Alec Mellin. A couple of tackles left here for Swinton on the Wellington 25. Cassidy out left to Hewitt. Hewitt goes back right, finds the gap. Hewitt's through it. An important tackle coming back from Mark Knight to bring him down. 
Six tackle then for Swinton. Midway inside the 25, it goes to Cassidy. Cassidy, little chip kick through. John Woods has dropped it. It's into the hands of Johnny Dwayne. And that will be a knock on and a scrum down. So Swinton once again. They've had plenty of possession. Six more tackles, but failed to record any points as yet. But they have the putting at this scrum. Just a couple of yards short of the Warrington line. Scrum collapses. And some weary forwards get up off the wheel spill turf. Ball goes in. And Swinton will be in position. And Hewitt's dropped it again. Picked up by Tex Evans. Gets the ball away to Cassidy. Cassidy gets away from one. Gets away from another. Still Cassidy. Jinx inside another. Caught this time by Mike Gregory. But Swinton once again have more tackles to put on the Warrington line. Steve Snape. Goes out with Derby shot. Delayed pass to Hewitt and he's dropped it. The ball loose. It's picked up again by Derby shot. Derby shot powering towards the Warrington line. Another six tackles to Swinton. Hewitt. Gets the return, he's through this time, and he's over. Well, the try had to call the amount of possession Swinton had. And finally, substitute Tony Hewitt, who scrambles in under the posts. And makes it 33-4. Rippon then, and he strikes it safely through. Makes it 33-6. With a little over 10 minutes to go. Rocky Turner restarts. Taken by Tex Evans. Evans runs hard. Goes to Robbie Moore. Alan Darby shot. Mellin swings it out left with Hewitt. Hewitt jinks about, gets the pass away to Evans. Mellin once more to Roby Mullock. Swinton running a bit more strongly now, but Warrington seems to step down again now. Comfortable leaders at the moment. As Frank Cassidy has it for Swinton, kicks downfield. John Woods now in the fullback position. John Woods then moving out for Warrington. Gets out of one tackle, finally caught by Alan Derby shot. Tamati to Mike Gregory. Gregory, a little chip kick through, falls it himself. Dived upon by Alan Derby shot. Hewitt swings it on to Tim Avavi. Goes out this time. Derby just slip pass to Evans. Evans flying through. Goes out with Cassidy, cross to Hewitt, slip past Tim of Harvey. Muller, chances here, Muller delays his pass now. Back inside comes Steve Snape, Snape still going, he's going for the line, will he get there? Drummond's coming back, Drummond brings it down with Woods, just a couple of yards short of the Warrington line. Cassidy goes himself from the play of the ball, tries to crash over himself. That's five tackles, it is the six for Swinton. Goes back to Velo, the good chip kick, it's... The legs of Tamati. And back to six. For Swinton. 
to Mavavi. To Mavavi knocks off two men. Derbyshire this time tries to drive over from the play the ball, gives a little dummy, stopped by Crompton, Dwayne, John Woods there. To Mavavi out to Cassidy, Cassidy long salty pass to Hewitt. Snape, Snape cuts inside again. Hewitt swings it back to Cassidy. Chances here, little dummy from Cassidy. He's under the post again, Frank Cassidy. Two tries in a matter of minutes for Swinton. Frank Cassidy this time going over underneath the post, which will give another easy two points for Swinton and Andy Rippon. And Ripper puts it safely through. So Warrington 33 points, Swinton 12. Two tries in a matter of minutes. Making the score look a bit more respectable as far as Swinton are concerned. With seven minutes to go. As Rocky Turner restarts for Warrington. Mark Vila takes it safely. Mark Vila moving forward. He's 25 before he stops. Mooney makes an extra few yards for Swinton. Mellin swings it out to Derbyshire. Derbyshire slipped past to Evans, but Evans gets away from a tackle, gets the ball back to Mellin. And Bob Jackson looks injured after that, making that tackle. It looks like Bob Jackson is down. And John Holsworth there, uh, quick to spot that, that tackle from what jo Bob Jackson made. Maybe a serious one. And a stretcher being called for. Hope oh, Bob Jackson can walk off. And Brian Johnson will come back on for Warrington. Well, Brian Johnson looks a bit limping as he comes back on. Cassidy jinks about, gets the ball away to Tex Evans. Evans though brought down by Mike Gregory, that's five tackles for Swinton. Goes back to Mark Vila, Gregory chases him. Brian Johnson takes it. Johnson then moves forward. Gives a dummy. Looks to beat his man. Kevin Tamati. Tamati drives in. Knocks off one man. Knocks off another. Tamati's still going. Finally dragged to the ground by Steve Snape. Out to Rocky Turner. Short pass to Humphreys. Humphreys runs straight and hard. Breaks one tackle. Just caught by Derby shot. Tamati. Out to Crompton. Rocky turn up. Can't wide Tex Evans. Tamati. On to Ronnie Dwayne. On a half trick along with Foster. Delayed pass to Mark Knight. Knight flying through. And 
A couple on his right hand side, but couldn't get the ball away. That's five tackles. It is a six. It goes out this time to Turner. Turner left footy puts in a kick for the corner. Maloney's there, takes it safely. And Maloney moves forward, gets a couple of dummies, comes on this near side. Maloney beats a couple of players. Maloney's still going. Finally, Mark Foster brings him down. And a knock on there from Hewitt. Uh, Mike Gregory given today's man of the match. A uh, fine forward performance from Hamstrong all afternoon. And some important tackling as well. So, three minutes plus injury time left in this Stones Better Championship game, which will keep Warrington up there with the leaders in the first division. Ball goes in from Crompton, comes out to Warrington. Crompton picks it up. Looking to get away from Hewitt, but Hewitt just hangs onto his leg to bring him down. Mike Gregory out to John Woods. Woods now moves forward, swings a nice pass out to Rapati. Rapati flying through. Rapati, has got Drummond on his right hand side. Drummond, he will go under the post. Drummond, a beautiful break for Rapati. And Drummond finishes it off under the posts. Flew through the gap there, did Rapati. Inch perfect pass to Des Drummond. And Des Drummond doesn't miss those and goes in for his 13th try of the season. After a nice pass and John Woods as well. And John Woods right in front of the posts and strikes it safely through. Seven goals for John Woods this afternoon. So, Warrington 39 points, Swinton 12, with two minutes to go plus injury time. Warrington collects another two points in the Stones, but a championship race. As Cassidy restarts for Swinton, chips one to Mike Gregory. Gregory takes it safely. Mike Gregory then running hard and strong as usual, head down, crashes in. Stop midway inside his own half by Tech Sevens. Kevin Tamati swings it on to Sanderson. Sanderson beats one man. Tries to go through a couple more. Evans once again the tackle for Swinton. Tamati swings it on to Turner. Took it well. Slip pass to Dwayne. Dwayne stopped by Cassidy. John was this time. Moves forward. Gives a dummy. Finds the gap. John was in the way. He's only got the full back in front of him. He's got Tamati with him. Delays his pass. Gets it out to Mark Knight. Mark Knight goes behind him. Martin Crompton dives on it. But wanting to miss a chance there. John Woods acknowledging there. Perhaps it may have been better to give it to Kevin Tamati. So let's come down just inside the Swinton 25. Ball goes in. Swinton in possession. Hewitt has it. Now moves into the final seconds of the game. To Mavavi. Tumavavi moves forward, gets a nice pull back to Dave Maloney. Maloney jinxes it one side and another, still Dave Maloney. Can he go all the way? He's only got Mark Foster in front of him. This is a great run for Maloney. He's jinking one way and another. Finally, Mark Foster brings him down. Fine run there from the Swinton wingman. Dave Maloney takes Swinton on the attack in the final seconds. Cassidy. Cassidy goes across field. It overlaps over that far side. There's a huge gap for Snape. He's got Rippon, but Rippon stops as he gets the ball. Cuts back inside the Warrington covers there to stop him. Out with Snape to Derby shot. Derby shot, not a good pass. Picked up by Hewitt, followed by Gregory, and Gregory brings him down. Roby Muller to Vila. Matt Vila looks for support, finds it from Muller. Muller runs hard. Now play cut up to a minute of injury time, and referee spots a knock on. Warrington did have possession. Referee doesn't play any advantage. Tony Hewitt comes round to feed the scrum for Swinton. Scrum collapses, Warrington in possession. Hewitt doesn't retire, gives Warrington a penalty. And 
John Woods will put the ball for touch on this near side. Ball sails safely in. So, closing seconds now. Well into injury for time, playing up to two minutes now as Tamati takes it to Gary Sanderson. Sanderson stopped by Mooney to Mavavi and Melly. Tamati to Matt Knight. Knight runs in hand, strong stop by Darby Shot. Tamati, long floaty pass to Woods. Woods moves forward to Dwayne. Dwayne stopped by Tex Evans. John Woods once more to Joe Reparty. Reparty gets away from one. Finally stopped by Hewitt. Woods once more. On to Crompton. Crompton looks at the gap and finds it. Crompton's away now. Got support both sides, but his pass intercepted by Timavari. Trying to get his pass away to Rocky Turner. And in fact, there goes the foul hooter. Warrington winners by 39 points to 12. Tries, one for Des Drummond, two for Ronnie Dwayne, two for Mark Foster and one for Mark Knight. John Woods, he kicked seven goals and there was a drop goal for Martin Crompton. Swinton in reply, two tries, one for Frank Cassidy, one for Tony Hewitt. Two goals, both from the boot of Andy Rippon. So Warrington had fair two points to their Sokol in the Stones Bridge Championship. This has been Tony Gleave at Willowspill with the final score of Warrington 39, Swinton 12.